hello students and my friends i'm back with a new video okay uh, we'll be talking something very interesting today real and virtual images okay so uh, let us talk about the real and virtual images here you can see that the image which is formed is a virtual image because you can see that the image is upright here also the image is upright so uh, the object is uh, standing straight and the image is also like that but also you can see that the image is upright so like object so this is also a virtual image here you can see that the image which is formed on the retina is inverted image so here there is the inverted image you can see right again uh, we have an image here so we'll be talking about more in detail about the real and virtual images today right so let's start uh, what is a real image and what is virtual image okay uh, so uh, we'll go more in detail here okay we talking about what is a real image and what is a virtual image so real images are where light rays actually meet after reflection you can see here the incident rays going that's am and it is falling onto the mirror after that getting reflected and here one more incident that's a uh, you can see that this reflect this uh, incident ray is going and it is again hitting the mirror getting reflected these reflected rays are meeting here at this point and this point where the image is formed so the rays reflected rays are actually meeting so the image which is formed is called as real image or this is also possible by refraction you can see here we have a convex lens and these are the incident rays and they're going and they're meeting here at this point so both the refracted rays are actually meeting here so the image which is formed is again a real image but this the same is not in the virtual okay let us see a virtual image is where the light rays appears to meet okay after reflection or refraction so have a look at this here these are the incident rays okay they're reflecting also but are they actually meeting no they're not so you can see here this is the dotted line which is actually going and meeting here and they're showing the image so this shows it is not the real rays real reflected rays but then it's a virtual rays which are actually going and meeting so this image is a virtual image like that if it is a refraction here i have a concave lens and you can see the rays are going and these rays after refraction they're diverging and appears to meet here can you see the dotted line again yeah appears to meet here so the image which is out there again will be a virtual image okay next going real image can be seen on a screen real image is always can be seen on a screen can be taken on a screen traced on a screen okay look at this here similar this virtual image cannot be taken on a screen it can never be okay we will be seeing a video whereby we are going to prove this real image can be taken on a screen whereas virtual image cannot be taken on a screen okay also real image is always inverted the real image is always inverted always you will find you can see that you have a candle and there's a lens convex lens and the image which is formed on a screen is inverted so that's a real image it's inverted whereas virtual image is always erect so you can see that again you have a lens this is concave lens now this time but this image cannot be taken on a wall cannot be taken on a screen you can see only in the lens here right so here is a video which is going to prove this two things that the real image can be taken on a screen and it is inverted whereas the virtual image cannot be taken on a screen and it is erect here uh, we can see that there is a candle and convex lens if you see on the screen you can see uh, there is something illuminated means the image is not clear here right now okay we'll adjust in such a way that we will get this image on the screen so this here if you adjust the focal length properly you will get the image of candle on the screen can you see the image of the candle on the screen yes it is possible because the convex lens forms real image and which can be screen 
Look at this one more thing. The real image is always inverted. So the candle is lit upward where the image is seen. So that says that the real image is inverted image. So light is passing through this uh, magnifying glass which is made up of convex lens. And when it is going on a screen, actually these rays are meeting after refraction. Image is formed on the screen. So the image which is formed is a real image and it is inverted. Now, if I replace this convex lens with concave, let's see what happens. All right. Now you can see there is convex uh, concave lens in uh, in this picture. You can see the candle is there. Convex lens is there. How much ever you adjust see the screen cannot be taken on us the image cannot be taken on a screen so you can see that the screen is empty the candle is there concave lens is there but there is no image on a screen there is no image on a screen i will show you the image now i'll show you the image image is formed in the lens uh, if you look at this here i'll show you the lens the image which is formed inside the lens can you see that yes i can show you that the image which is formed here inside if you look at this lens properly that you can see the image and this is nothing but the virtual erect image and this image cannot be taken on a screen because the rays of light are not actually meeting after refraction they appear so here the image which is formed is virtual erect image you can see clearly in the in the lens uh, that uh, uh, someone is holding here you can clearly see inside the image is virtual how the candle is lit the same way you can see the image but you will have no image on screen the image which you can see is nothing but here in the in the lens but not on a screen see you cannot get but suppose suppose it is replaced with a convex lens again you will see the image on a screen if I adjust the image, you can see the image will be formed on a screen and it will be it will be real inverted image. Can you see the screen? So that's that's the conclusion that the image, the real image can be formed on a screen, whereas virtual image cannot be traced on screen and the real image is always inverted and the virtual image is always erect. Thank you. Okay, continuing further. Okay, a real image, real image is formed by concave mirror. So this is the concave mirror which forms a real image, and convex lens. Convex lens also forms a real image. So this is a concave mirror where the doctors use it. You can see that the doctors are using this. Okay, this is to see the teeth, upper teeth here. Whereas this is the magnifying glass, very famous. Okay, and that's convex lens, right? Here, virtual image is are formed uh, by a plane mirror, okay, where we see a, a face in the morning, right? Okay, whenever we want to see how beautiful and good looking we are or the handsome we are, we have to use this mirror, plane mirror. So, convex mirror, okay, convex mirror, okay, that is used for the rear view. It's also known as rear view mirror in the vehicles and concave lens okay p-fold p-fold lens which is now there is nothing but a concave lens and that forms virtual image right so we are all familiar with this so this is all about the real and virtual image hope you have understood the concept well thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos with a new concept thank you thank you very much